Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update for Tuesday, April the 12th, 2016. And today in our news update, we have the blue screen of death that will have an update coming soon to Windows 10 and that's going to be interesting because of uh, the rather complex, you know, understanding what does it mean and what happened and it's very difficult to understand that, you know, blue screen of death message. Microsoft will add QR codes to these blue screens, which means you'll be able to use, for example, your smartphone, scan the QR code, and it's going to send you to the Microsoft page that hopefully can help you decipher and understand those cryptic messages from the blue screen of death. So that I think is a good idea as long as the pages that help you are interestingly good enough for you to make a decision on to what exactly is happening with your PC. But you know, it's a step forward and I think slowly we'll have more and more details and we'll, I think it's gonna you know, make it easier also for, not only for the tech guys, but even for the average um, you know, tech enthusiast to really um, grasp how to fix different problems with their computers. PC shipments in the first quarter of 2016 dropped again. Uh, a lot of uh, the you know experts were thinking that it was pretty much going to stay flat, but uh, Q1 shipments really dropped and are the lowest shipments of new PCs since 2007. Gives you an idea of how uh, low this is. We typically reached a peak somewhere in 2012, 2011, 2012, and then 2013, 14 started, you know, taking a dive. But, you know, it's a very complex issue. This is um, not just tablets, but I think even smartphones are kind of taking over that market. People are more and more mobile and, you know, feel that the, the, they need less and less to have a powerful computer. And also the fact that Windows 10 upgrades your old PC to uh, something that is brand new uh, does also make probably the PC shipments dive a little bit. So lowest uh, shipments in 2007 in the first quarter. We'll see how the rest of the year goes. It's Microsoft Patch Tuesday today. If you have Windows Vista, Windows uh, 7, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, it is time to go to Windows Update. Lots of uh, security fixes, including the notoriously bad Flash Player flaw. There's an update today for that, and it's very important to apply it. Um, we know that it already is exploited in the wild. We know that some bad guys out there are sending ransomware through that flaw. So by fixing it, well, you make sure that you can't get infected by such uh, crapware and uh, ransomware stuff. So apply your updates, check your Windows updates. They have been available for the past hour or so. And of course, I will be posting a video a little later after the live tech show uh, talking about the Patch Tuesday updates and uh, what they actually fix, uh, in, especially in Windows 10, but also for pretty much everybody. Well, there's going to be a new way if very soon to log into your Windows PC using your phone. So that's coming slowly. You'll have the possibility to unlock your PC uh, with your phone. And it's probably going to work with the uh, Microsoft app. <clears throat> There's an interesting Microsoft app that I started using actually on my phone, which lets you log into your Microsoft account. And what I like about it, you know, compared to the Google Authenticator, where you have to manually enter a code, you actually are sent the code on that Microsoft Authenticator, but instead of having to enter a code, you just see the code and it tells you, oh, do you want to have access to your Microsoft account? And all you have to do is say yes, no cryptic code to enter, nothing. I actually like that. I think it's better than the Google Authenticator. So I wouldn't be surprised that is the way that it's going to work also to unlock your computer. But I think it's not a bad feature, basically. 
Windows Vista, if you are on Windows Vista, remember that this is the last year of extended support. That means that you will have the updates for a year and it's going to be over. So in about a year now, Windows Vista's um, updates, like for example, today's Patch Tuesday, will stop, meaning that your Windows Vista operating system in a year will slowly become more and more dangerous and obsolete. So uh, that follows the Windows XP, um, you know, end of support uh, as of, uh, what, last year, two years ago. So, um, you know, if you are on Vista, I think it's time to think about what you're going to do. Are you going to upgrade your machine to Windows 7 or 10? Are you buying a new machine? It's that period of time I think you have to uh, really have reflection upon that. So, one year left for Windows Vista. So this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, April 12, 2016. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy our videos.